In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to properly organize all of your clothes, donate what you don't need to charity, and restoring a fairly old pair of Adidas, plus more DIY clothes hacks that I'm sure somebody dared me to do in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys to tell me something nice you plan on doing for someone else. And here's what you said. And they are all really nice things. And I hope this motivates you or reminds you to actually go out and do it. And since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is something you are planning on letting go of? It could be anything from a pair of jeans you want to donate to charity, a grudge you've been carrying against somebody else, or maybe you're just literally carrying something really heavy and you'd like to set it down. Be creative with your answers and put whatever you can come up with in the comment section. I'll be picking 10 of my favorite to be featured in the next video. Now, let's get this thing going. Now for the first part of this video, I'm going to be sorting through all of my old clothes and arranging them Marie Kondo style. But instead of putting the clothes on my bed, I'm going to be putting them on the floor so that I can have more room for video purposes. But I didn't want you guys to think that I was putting all these clean clothes on a dirty floor, so I took a quick time lapse of my mopping robot cleaning up the floor, just so that way you know that none of the clothes are getting dirty. And by the way, I love this little robot a lot. And that's probably because I really hate mopping. And this robot is pretty quiet while it works, and I think that it actually does a really good job. So this is it. This is all of my clothing. This is every stitch of clothing I own, except for one load of clothes that's actually still in the dryer. All these clothes are cleaned and my floor has just been cleaned. So I'm ready to start sorting through all this stuff to find out how much of this do I actually even need? My guess is probably not much. And whatever I don't need, I'm gonna be giving away to charity. But the way I'm gonna be determining what I need and what I don't need is simply by what sparks my joy. That's right, I'm gonna be Marie Kondoing my entire closet. Now to be honest, it seems like I probably only wear about five shirts, but I bet you I have about a hundred or more. I have no idea. I really need to go through this. This is going to be quite a process, but it needs to get done. And I didn't used to have this much clothes. It just sort of all accumulated over a very long period of time. And I definitely feel like this is going to be something very good to do, not only for the people that will be donating clothes to, but for myself as well. Carrying around this much stuff that you don't need is actually carrying around a lot of baggage. Having all this extra stuff just occupies more space that can be used for other things. And I hear that having so much clutter in your life can be very stressful. And obviously all this stuff is cleaned, but it is also obviously not organized. And I think by just simply organizing everything, that might also clear up a lot of free space as well. And I have several different types of baskets right here, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be picking up each item of clothing one by one and either deciding if it sparks me joy, or if not, then I'll be thanking it and putting it in a bag that I'll be later giving away. The stuff that I am gonna keep, I'm gonna roll up and stick into each one of these little bins. I've got several here, although they're all stuffed together, but I might need more bins. But I do have some hangers and other things that are gonna help me out with this, but it should be a pretty satisfying process to watch, actually seeing all this clutter turn into something that hopefully ends up being pretty neat. So in short, I feel like doing this is gonna be something that I could do that will be good for everybody. And I think it's gonna be pretty fun to watch, I really do. And that being said, let's get started. Now folding clothes is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but as you can see, I've gotten way behind on doing that. So this needed to be done anyways. But for some reason, watching these big giant piles of clothes turn into nice, neat little stacks was oddly sad. Satisfying. Okay, so here are the clothes that I'm gonna be donating to charity. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but it's a good little bit. I'm definitely keeping a lot more than what I'm giving away because frankly, I don't wanna to have to walk around the house butt naked all the time. Matter of fact, I don't think anybody wants that. I also have this little basket, which is all basically shorts and underwear, and I got a few pairs of socks in there, I think. I'm not really sure what all else. But hopefully these clothes can go to good use. I mean, that right there looks like about a full closet worth of clothes. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be keeping just so you can kind of look at it by comparison. But I'm going to say right up front that I am going to be keeping more than what I'm going to be giving away. But eventually, everything is going to get given away. But I felt like there's a good sort of clothes in here. I've got a few jeans over there, got a few different shirts. 
We've got some long sleeve shirts over here, uh, some button downs, some collared shirts. It's just a good assortment of different things. So hopefully all of this can go to some good use. But the real question is, are they gonna actually accept all these clothes? They might have some very high criteria for what kind of clothes you can donate and what you can't donate. And all of these clothes are used, so I wouldn't be too surprised if they actually turn some of these clothes away and say that they are not eligible for donation. But I guess we're just gonna have to take it there and find out once we get there. And here's all the clothes that I'm gonna be keeping. This is a whole bunch of shirts on the top row, and those are all of my pants on the bottom row. That's it. That's everything that I'm going to be keeping that goes in the closet. Although I do have those baskets that are also full of a lot of different things. Mostly just like boxers and shorts and socks and things like that. But I'll show you that now. Here's all of my shorts. I got all the shorts that I wear in two bins. I got socks and boxers. Actually, here's the socks. Here's all my boxers, nobody wants to see that. Got more underwear here, and on the bottom row, we've got more socks. Please excuse all the dust that's in my room. I know it's disgusting. And this is me finally getting rid of all of my unneeded stuff, and also me realizing who the real hero of the story is. Okay, I got a donation receipt, and uh, they did not want to even check any of the stuff that I was dropping off. I guess they were just cool with me giving them whatever, which is, I guess, probably the way to do it. Just accept everything, sort through it later. One thing I wanted to say, though, is that I definitely admire this woman that is out here in the blistering heat, sorting through all these people's old stuff. I mean, that takes dedication, and I hope that they're paying her a lot, but they're probably not. She may be even just donating her time. I actually have no idea but um, she's doing the hard work. This video is not about me. This video is about her. She is out here in the heat. I only had to sort through my crap. She's sorting through everybody's stuff. So, wow, kudos to her. And hopefully that all goes to good use. Now we will be on to the next thing. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, I'd like to donate some clothes, but I can't always just go out and buy new clothes. And the trick to this is just making the clothes that you have last a little bit longer. And that includes your shoes. Now on camera, these shoes probably still look pretty good because I have a really bright light on it right now. But what I'm gonna do is dim down the light for just a second. And now you can start to see a little bit more of the darkness that has kind of soaked into the boost part of these Adidas NMD runners. And that's the first part that's kind of noticeably worn on these type of shoes. This boost material really just soaks up any sort of dirt or anything. And believe it or not, I've actually cleaned these somewhat recently. All right, let me turn the light back up. But there's a trick that I found online that will actually make this white part of the shoe brand new again and that is masking tape and an oil-based white sharpie pen I don't know if this is gonna work or not because I just found this on the internet and well things on the internet are a little shaky <laughs> you never know how real or fake any of that stuff can be but I do see a ton of people using this and the results they get are pretty good so I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens you know what I'm not even gonna take these up I'm just gonna try to be really really careful When I dim the lights, you can really tell which one is which. I mean, that is no comparison whatsoever. One of these looks brand new, and the other one does not. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy. I mean, I, I did paint the shoes. But still, that's, that's a pretty good comparison right there. I'm gonna turn the light back up just a bit. But even here, you can still tell that the difference is night and day. That's pretty cool, and I definitely think I'm gonna get a lot more use out of these Adidas NMD runners. They just look brand new now. And this is really the first part you're gonna notice if something is worn on it. And like I said, they look brand new to me. And that being said, we'll be on to the next thing. I'm not gonna take you guys through the whole process of me whitening this one, cause well, 
you see that it works. It definitely does make it look better. It's really just a matter of does it hold up or not. And if it doesn't, I will let you guys know in a future video. But in the meantime, I'm always up for a good suggestion, so make sure to leave me your ideas in the comment section. Feel free to be as creative as you'd like, and if you're down there anyways, maybe you could like the video, subscribe if you've yet to have done that. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.